First, I will reform our special interest driven law. When I am president, I will start by closing the revolving door on the White House. I will make it absolutely clear that working in an Obama administration is not about serving your former employer or your future employer. When you walk into my administration, you will not be able to work on regulations or contracts directly related to your former employer for two years. Stricter limits than under any uh, under any other administration in history. Less than two weeks later, Obama has made at least three high-profile exceptions to his own ethics policy. President Obama's so-called ethic rules have become meaningless and a common joke for many comedians. However, administration appointments are important to the American people. As President Ronald Reagan said, personnel is policy. That's why the National Right to Work Committee launched a new information series to bring sunlight on Obama administration personnel that will most assuredly try to expand the forced unionism privilege enjoyed by big labor. So let's get started. President-elect Barack Obama appointed AFL-CIO Associate General Counsel Deborah Greenfield to his transition organization. Within days of the November election, Greenfield began interrogating U.S. Department of Labor staff. Greenfield immediately began to assert President-elect Obama's authority. She summoned and demanded reports from the Office of Labor Management Standards Deputy Director, his leadership staff, the Solicitor of Labor's Division Chief responsible for the Office of Labor Management Standards, legal actions, and her staff. Why is that important? Because at the time, Obama appointed Greenfield as a lawyer for the AFL-CIO was engaged in suing the Department of Labor regarding the Office of Labor Management Standards Union Officer Conflict of Interest reporting regulations. And even now, as Greenfield serves as Director of the Labor Department's Executive Secretariat Office, the AFL-CIO continues its lawsuit opposing Union Officer Conflict of Interest disclosure. It appears that the union bosses who run the AFL-CIO believe that people paying union fees do not need to know if union officials have conflicts of interest or are profiting from their union positions. As an example, AFL-CIO lawyer Greenfield is suing the Department of Labor in an effort to continue keeping secret subsidized salary payments to union shop stewards for work not performed. Now, not coincidentally, with Greenfield's directorship in the Labor Department, the Department of Labor is rolling back both union officer conflict of interest reporting and labor union financial disclosure. So as President Obama and the union boss controlled leadership in Congress scheme to create more ways to force people to pay union dues or fees, Obama is allowing Greenfield to violate his publicly stated ethics pledge as the Labor Department simultaneously guts worker protections. Other Labor Department changes fall into line with the AFL-CIO demands such as OSHA rule changes, forced expansion of employer paid benefits, and increasing wage and hour investigators by over 33 percent to name a few. It appears that the Obama administration, as Clinton did, intends to use federal employees to create a shakedown operation against employers and independent minded employees. The U.S. government is not an organizing tool for the AFL-CIO and allowing Greenfield and others in positions of power creates obvious conflicts that President Obama declared that he would not allow. In 2008, Greenfield made over $140,000 a year from the AFL-CIO. Is she still being paid by the AFL-CIO? Was she paid by the AFL-CIO while she was on Obama's transition team? We don't know yet. But the Right to Work Foundation has filed a Freedom of Information Act request in an attempt to find out. Unfortunately, Greenfield, from her lofty position at the department, will be able to oversee this request. It is time to hold Obama accountable for his promises, and the National Right to Work Committee has begun its regular review of Obama administration officials that can influence workers' rights. Please sign up for regular updates and continue to visit our website for new Obama administration personnel alerts. When you walk into my administration, you will not be able to work on regulations or contracts directly related to your former employer for two years. Stricter limits than under any, uh, under any other administration in history. <laughs>